absolutely everything, got off to the perfect start. How, how did you see the contest yeah, tonight? Listen, they, they gave me everything and more. I'm, I'm super proud of the team tonight in terms of the fight and, and the heart and the desire that I think they've made the supporters proud. Of course they have with what they give to the game, but unfortunately we're on the wrong side of the result. We've had big moments in the game to score more than one goal. Um, we've created a lot of decent chances against a real good team. But unfortunately, we've we've conceded two poor goals, and um, again against the top side, we've had moments that have gone against us, and you know we need to improve in them situations. You talked before the game about the fans and mm. they could help the you. Fans, and at the start, yeah. it was terrific. Wasn't yeah, it? it was a great start. We scored. We never kept the lead for long enough, but the fans turned up tonight. They were behind us from the first whistle to the end. They were a big help to the players. This was a real tough game for us tonight, but. A real good game to be involved in and uh, um, as I say, what the players have gave in terms of the game plan, the effort, what they've done out of possession, in possession, the, the, the chance creation within the game against top players. There's a lot of positives to take from tonight's performance. Yeah, it was one of the big frustrations that you couldn't hold on to that lead. That was one of the game. frustrations and um, also when the big moments came again to go and get that second goal, unfortunately we just couldn't grab them. Yeah, but still on the positive side, there, were, there was plenty to take given the way you acquitted yourselves. Oh yeah, listen, we've just made one of the best teams in the world work extremely hard. We made Villa Park a tough place to come. That's the way it's got to be moving forward. And then um, we've created top chances against a good team. So a lot of positives, but of course, in terms of the results and the two goals we've conceded, we have to be frustrated. Yeah, you galvanised, didn't you? And went strongly as the game went on. And towards the end there, Danny mm -hmm. Ings... Seemed mm. to take it by the scruff of the neck, nearly happened. Yeah, listen, um, we played some lovely three balls to him. I think Phil played one and, and young Emmy come on was a bright spark again. Uh, our creation was there, we just couldn't execute and, and build on that first goal. But um, there's nothing outside of the two goals to criticise the players on. I thought we were ambitious, we were bold, we were brave and at times we looked a real good team. Yeah, Ollie and Danny have been weighing in with the goals in recent matches, but Dougie got one there, and you want to spread them around a bit, don't you? Yeah, of course. I thought Dougie's performance was outstanding. I think he'll be disappointed with the moment um, leading up to the second goal, but um, you know, unfortunately, in the camera had run out of steam. We had to move him into a different position. We didn't really want to do that in an ideal world, but. You know, we knew before the game that Nakamba would run out of steam and we had to make a change. Yeah, and looking ahead finally, you've, you've still got that chance of a top half finish with the nine points to, to play for in the last week. Yeah, of course, listen, six six points to play for at home. Um, if we can match that performance in the next two games, I'm positive that you know, we can have two good days. And then we'll reset and we'll go to City away from home and we'll see where we are. But yeah, it's still the aim. We want to finish as high as we can, ideally.